Hello, everybody. What I want to talk about today are updates in Teams. And why I want to talk about them is because as we're working from home and many people are distant, you can't just lean over the cubicle of your colleague and say, hey, where are we on the project? And so we have to do it online. One of the things that's always concerned me about updates is brevity and similarity. Sometimes people send updates that is 60 pages PowerPoint and expect you to read it. And of course, if you're like me, I get a 60 page PowerPoint, I make a glance at it and I'm not gonna read it. And the other one is similarity. So some stuff's long, some stuff's short, some stuff I can't make sense of. And if I don't have brevity and similarity, I don't really pay attention. And in meetings, when people do updates, when it comes to a person who has a large chunk size in their information, after about 10 sentences, I check out, though I may be polite and look and go like this. I remember that I wasn't always up to speed what people were saying on Teams because I wasn't listening in the debriefs and the updates. So I went away and thought there must be a better way. So I've solved the brevity and similarity issue. If you'd like, what I want to talk to you about today is something called Starn. Let me show how it works by going over to my PowerPoint. All right. What we've got is something called Starn. The magic here with Starn is the one page. Nobody gets more than a page. Occasionally, you have to tell people at a minimum of font size six, because when they know what's one page, then they go font size two, three, or four, and it's too much to read. So I would say one page at a rather optimal font size. And it's easy. S stands for what's the situation in your area? What are the business results you're to date? One success, one challenge we face. Whatever you want to talk about the current situation. And then the T is for tasks. Tell other people what are the things you're working on. And you could even link to the project plan, which people, if they want more information, they can go see. And then the next one is actions. You know, what are the actions we're taking on these three tasks of our situation. And life's not always easy or solvable by ourselves. Sometimes we actually face roadblocks. So the opportunity here is to say, hey, here are the roadblocks I'm facing. Dear team, here's where I need some help. Who has some ideas? And then it's always nice to let people know when's our next point of contact and what you can expect for me next time. Let's now look as I take you through one of the people I was coaching named Maria. So in her situation, she's saying she's released three press releases this quarter, 14 major postings on social media with great feedback, landed our CEO on major media with positive input as well, worked with environmental partners on recycling more in the community. So in a nutshell, I know what she's working on. Tasks. So she's saying the annual report, the shareholders annual meeting, and discussions with all players to render the plants cleaner. Easy. Then we have the actions taken. Well, it looks like she's copied them down. So annual report, she's picked a designer. They have an approved distribution list. Needs to talk to Raj for the numbers soon. So it seems like Raj, he's working in finance. Shareholder annual meeting will now be held online only. We have a partner that makes it look like a TV set. Sounds like she's got that on check. She wants to talk to Miguel about some media training. So that's good. Now, three. Discussions with all players to render the plants cleaner. How do we involve all players, including the community and the unions? Marta, please get back on ideas. So apparently Marta now has an action step, what she needs to do. And then we have roadblocks. To her boss, Jose, in our next one-to-one, -one, I need to revise the annual budget due to the save from the online only meeting. Apparently it's cheaper to hold the meeting online than to hold it in a large hall and host it online. Finance says we cannot reallocate the saves incurred on the funds, need your help to unblock this. So it sounds like she has an issue with finance. She wants her boss to help her. What's she saying, what's next? Okay, in terms of what's next, she's going to show us the layouts for the TV set, the annual report, send us the proposals. Need help turning this around in 40 hours so we can stay on time in the project plan, which is on the shared server. So in a nutshell, what you've got, one page, five components, Starn, situation, task, actions, roadblocks, what's next? Thanks for being part of my shared resource area of Leader Like You. 
where the opportunity is to help you be successful by design, not by chance, through conscious responses instead of unconscious reactions. And keep your comments flowing. Let us know what you think of STARN and how you use it in your teams. Go out, have fun, use the resource, pass it on, and be leader-like. Hey everybody, how are you doing? I wanted to share an update with you. So you've just watched the video about STARN, and in talking to clients and reflecting and thinking, I've expanded it to STARNs. And the S stands for support, which gives the opportunity for people to say, here's my situation, here are the tasks I'm working on, here are the actions I'm taking, here are the potential roadblocks, here's what's next. And the last piece is, here's the support I need from everybody here, or the support I need from the organization, or the support I need outside the organization. And I just wanted to share that update with you. So please continue to share your questions, comments, and discoveries with me, which allows material to even get better and mature. And now you have stones. Stay leader-like.